Hi, I'd like to take a few minutes to give you an overview of the Citizen Sky Project. Citizen Sky is a new citizen science project spearheaded by the American Association of Variable Star Observers, or AAVSO. For more information on the AAVSO, visit their website at aavso.org. So, this is a citizen science project. What exactly is citizen science? I think that's a good place to start. Uh, citizen scientists are volunteers, many of whom have no prior scientific training, who work with trained scientific researchers to answer real-world questions. This means you. For the next three years, the Citizen Sky Project will focus on a very interesting, very bright star named Epsilon Origi. The star is bright enough to be seen with the unaided eye in even the most light-polluted cities. So this means you don't have to go out and buy a telescope to look at this star. Epsilon Origi is a variable star. This means it changes in brightness over time. And collecting data on these changes can help us understand the star. There are many types of variables, and Epsilon Origi is an eclipsing variable. For more information on eclipsing variables or Epsilon Origi, check out the website at citizensky.org, and I promise you'll find a lot more information on the star. And the change in brightness that this star undergoes is a fading. And the process of fading and coming back to its usual brightness takes over 700 days, so this is a pretty slow change. And one of the things that makes this star really exciting is that it only goes through this fading process once every 27.1 years. So the last time this happened, members only jackets and parachute pants were flying off the racks like crazy. <laughs> And some things about the way that this star fades and then regains its brightness are still puzzling astronomers after over 175 years of study. The next eclipse of Epsilon Origi is predicted to begin in August 2009. And we need you to help us collect data so we can better understand the star. Because the star is really bright, it can be observed by anyone, regardless of background, training, or equipment. With just a good pair of eyes and a finder chart, which we will give you, you can monitor this eclipse. We welcome anyone who has an interest in participating, and we will guide you through the process of how to observe Epsilon Origi, how to send us your observations of the star, how to see your results, analyze them, even publish them in a scientific journal. No previous experience is required, and we hope that this will be the largest citizen science project in modern history that involves real, active research. I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about some of the resources we have available to you. Sorry about that. Um, apparently my cat is also very interested and excited about Epsilon Origi, and I had to cut there for a second. Um, first of all, the website. Our new webpage will be launching in June 2009. Over the next two months, we'll be adding even more features, and throughout the project, we'll be adding articles, updating the blogs, and adding new tools. This site will serve as the home base for anyone interested in participating in the project. We invite you to read up on Epsilon Origi and the Citizen Sky Project. Stay up to date on recent developments by reading the blogs. Download and use the training materials. We invite you to register and participate in the discussion groups. Coming up soon, you'll be able to submit data, view data, and analyze data, plus much more in the following months. We also have a couple of workshops coming up. We have a three-day workshop focused on observing education and public outreach, which will be held at the Adler Planetarium in Chicago, August 5th, 6th, and 7th, 2009. There will be a second workshop focusing on data analysis and scientific paper writing at the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco during the spring of 2010. Prior to each of these workshops, we'll have an application form posted on the Citizen Sky website. After each workshop, video of all of the workshop presentations will be posted on the website, so even if you can't attend, you can benefit from these talks. Epsilon Origi is an ideal target for those interested in learning how to observe variable stars. By following the 10 star tutorial, available right now on our website, a new observer will be trained in the technique needed to make and report a variable star estimate. Information on taking digital observations of Epsilon Origi, for those of you who are a little more advanced, are also available on the Citizen Sky website. We're developing data analysis software, which will come with tutorials to help train you in the basics of astronomical data analysis. And a special edition of the peer-reviewed Journal of the AAVSO will be dedicated to papers written by project participants, like you. 
The brightness of this star provides a rare opportunity to engage the general public in citizen science. Participants are needed to help write newsletter and newspaper articles, uh, prepare talks and slideshows, develop artwork, to give talks and participate in other forms of community outreach. Teams of interested participants with complementary skill sets are being assembled right now. For example, um, teaming up a science writer with an illustrator to work on an article. These teams will continue to be assembled throughout the project. Everyone can play a role in the Citizen Sky Project. I hope that you decide to get involved and discover yours. Thanks. First of all, the website. Our new webpage will be launching in June 2009. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> oh, cut.